Happy Halloween, folks. Kevin here, Tattoo Toy Owner. I'm just out of a 48 and I am beat. No sleep for 48, so I'm like beat. So I'm going to do this quick video and then I'm going to knock out for Halloween. <laughs> anyway, uh, I have a package that came in the mail. Friend mail. Uh, I cannot wait to open this up. This is from Mr. Sparrow. Uh, cool, cool guy, really good friend and a fellow collector. Sent me something from all the way from Canada. So I appreciate you so much, brother. Uh, I wanna gonna uh, head home and we'll open this up and we'll uh, do an unboxing and check out what's in here. It is heavy. But uh, before we get into that, I uh, ended up making a Halloween skit along with my really good buddy Uber Hulk and uh, his wife Kelly. So uh, please take uh, three minutes, three and a half minutes to check out our Halloween skit. I hope you enjoy it. I think it's funny. And uh, watch that and then we'll get this open. See you in a bit. Good afternoon, America. This is Kevin Coleman bringing you breaking news. We have just heard that Uber Hulk has escaped an insane asylum. He is very dangerous. Make sure to stay indoors is what we've been told by Elm Street Police. We do have a recording from earlier. Once again, he is very dangerous, so make sure to stay far away. Back to you, Jane. Ah, oh, crap. Every time I'm having fun, of course someone's gonna call. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Keep your pants on. Jeez, what's the emergency? My goodness. Elm Street Security, this is Officer Tattoo. What's your emergency, please? Yes, dispatch, I think somebody's in my house. All they stole was some candy, but I'm really, really scared right now. Okay, calm down, ma'am. Calm down, please. Where are you located right now? You need to give me some more information, please. Aw, oh, dang, I'm gonna have to put you on hold real quick. Okay? Hey, baby, hey I miss you so much. I miss you. I miss Why don't you, you order some pizza, and I'm gonna go oh, over there to good. your station and take real I... good care of you. I just can't wait to see you. I miss you so much. Me too, me too. Bye. Okay, ma'am, I'm back. So can this wait till morning? No, you have to get somebody here now. I think he's here now. He's here. He's he's here. He's. I think he's, he's gonna... Okay, you're gonna have to calm down, ma'am. Calm down. I'm gonna call you right back. Hello, welcome to Domino's. Do you want to try our new specials? No, you need to calm down, sir. Calm down. I just want a large pepperoni and make it snappy, okay? Okay, fool. I'll call you when it's ready. All right, the pizza's ready. I'm going to have a good time tonight with Kevin. Aw, uh, who's this? Hello? Fetch, are you there? Hello? Somebody there? Ma'am, you really need to calm down. Just calm down. Can you give me a description of the guy? Come on. I don't know. I didn't get a good look at him. All I saw is that he's really really tall. He didn't make any sounds at all. He just stood there. I'm really scared. Ah, oh, crap. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to call you right back, okay? I will get right back with you, okay? Just calm down. Hey, what's up, John? Yeah, I'm ordering some pizza. I'm going to have some... Ah, oh, who could this be now? Man, I cannot get a moment's peace around here today. Jeez. Hello? Who's this? Hello? Hey, fool, your pizza's ready, man. Come pick it up. Okay, bro. Let me get your address. This is the most important thing I'm going to run across today, so I'm definitely going to be there for the pizza. We'll send someone right over. This is a code three situation. Okay, sir. How much? Gotcha. I really appreciate it. Extra cheese. Kevin. 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 Happy Halloween.
Happy Halloween! <laughs> What's up, everyone? I want to give a quick shout out to my real good buddy Uber Hulk and his lovely, lovely wife Kelly. She is the star of that skit. She is such a great actor. She beat us both, buddy. We need to admit it. <laughs> so anyway, I want to do a quick unboxing for Halloween. This uh, is a package all the way from Canada. <laughs> it's crazy. My good, good buddy Pat Sparrow sent this from Canada uh, to just send some of his old stuff. He knows that I like the same thing. And man, that I appreciate it so much. I don't even get tongue tied. I don't even know what to say. Uh, I'm so appreciative of you doing this when anybody does this you know i don't i just I, it moves me a lot because you know i'm not out asking for anything i don't expect anything you know and like he jokes around uh in his letter saying you know here's some old junk and people like us are the same like me and pat we they, we collect this old stuff and we joke around that it's junk you know because it's old stuff that no one even really collects anymore except for us vintage collectors uh but in reality this stuff is like gold to me it's treasure so anyway we got this box open <clears throat> and let's go through this he sent me a lot of old comic books they are amazing looking uh, i remember having these in the 80s very good looking i really appreciate this buddy i can go back and reread through these and remember some of the old great stories i've forgotten something also really cool about this stack of books is this uh vintage super special mad magazine isn't that cool i used to collect these as well um, I probably still have some put away, but that is a really cool uh, collectible piece to have. We got Liberty Legion, Avengers. These are just really good looking books. <clears throat> Maybe I'll do a video and go more in depth on my other comic book channel, collectible channel, to show them off. Look at this. This box is stacked. Wow, man. Again, Pat, I really appreciate it. Uh, I don't know what to say. I would like to know what you like, though, so I can be on the lookout. But look at all the goodness, the plastic goodness in this box. Here we have some uh, collectible cards. Batman Forever, 95. Wow, I don't, I don't even think I got any of these in 95. Max, I want to get into the Max again. I want to watch the cartoons again. It's been so long. I want to see the comic books. And these collectible cards are incredible. Uh, it's, I'm torn to open them or not because I love opening these old collectible cards. And I want to share them with you guys and see what you think. So... Let me know if you want me to open these up because I'll do a video on my other channel and we'll open them up and go through them. This is marked random. <clears throat> I can already see a lot of really cool dinosaurs from the cartoon series The Land Before Time. I remember when uh, a long, long time ago when my little sister, she's in her 20s now, my baby sister, she loved all of these cartoons. They made like, what, 300 of them? <laughs> I think this one's name is like Sarah. I can't remember any of the rest, but I think she was Sarah. Anyway, I remember for my family, we all watched these cartoons together. It was like a family thing. This one's like a little Godzilla. Look at that. It's got some articulation. It's like maybe three inches tall at the most. That is cool looking. And the rest, I think, are also Land Before Time. Like this, these little guys, it looks like the right artwork. So <clears throat> they're really cool looking. I love little figures like this. These little figurines, small two to three inch figurines. I have a ton of them. I love displaying them. When I finally get to set up my collection, I cannot wait to be able to share it with everyone. We're planning to move here this, this year coming. I need some more space. I need a room of my own. So that's what we're planning and working on. This looks like a little uh, Planet of the Apes, but it's like, like a little straw hanger or something. Really neat looking. <clears throat> but yeah, when we make the move, I'm going to set up my collection and do a video. And I think it'll be pretty impressive because I think I got some pretty cool stuff. <laughs> So let's keep digging here and uh, see what else we got. Here is another little package. It's, he's really neat about the way he has it. Battlestar Galactica 1978 Battlestar Galactica. These two figures are really cool looking. I do remember these. Uh, I think I may have picked up one when I was a kid, like at a flea market or something. Look how great he looks. Really cool or uh, sculpted detail to him. He's got four arms, two legs. I mean, back in the day, little monsters like that, that was, it was the greatest. Love playing with these things as a kid. I just thought it was the greatest thing in the world. So really appreciate this nice vintage action figure. I will definitely have a nice place and I will cherish it forever. Here's another one. <clears throat> this guy's 
really iconic looking. You could tell he's from the series just by the mat, the, hel the helmet he wears. They both stand really well too for being so old. All right, some more trading cards. Batman Forever. This is again 90s. And these come with a uh, movie photo stickers. Isn't that cool? It reminds me of like in junior high, you'd get like uh, Garbage Pail Kids or these stickers and you would cover your Trapper Keepers up with all kinds of crazy stickers. <laughs> That's a really good memory of doing that. Definitely. All right, next package here. We, I already see some amazing stuff in here. So let's open it up. And now we have our 80s. A team figure. This is B A Bad A Baracus. He's actually, I don't know if it was purpose, like if you saw this, uh, Pat, and knew I needed him, but I have the other three guys. This is the only one I really needed. So this is like incredible to complete the four guys. I don't have any of the villains and I need the van, but this one, he is my favorite figure from A team. He's my favorite character. Mr. T is just, uh, I think he's a great actor for his time and he's funny. Here's Undercover Donnie, really good looking too, solid, extremities tight. Uh, Undercover Donnie is one of my favorite figures. I think he just looks really cool with the hat and the jacket. We got a little uh, Han Solo figure here, that's pretty cool. I don't know what this is from, but definitely cool little figure. It's a 90s piece, applause. <clears throat> yeah, that, that B.A. Baracus, look at him, he looks great. I'm really happy for him. To have him in my collection so we'll scoot these back and make some more room because there's still a ton of stuff in here <laughs> look at that it's looking so good all right let's pull out wow look at this look at this figure he's incredible you can tell already he's a ljn uh thundercats that is incredible look at him he is cool he has that wheel and he has an action you pull the cord and the wheel spins really fast I actually do not recall him like I'm going blank on him but man he's amazing looking oh you really outdid yourself bud sending this this he's this is 80s treasure to me this is gold he looks so great he's gonna look so good in my uh Thundercats section look at that look at the detail that wheel is insane it just makes him so unique wow and I'm slowly building, like there's still several Thundercats I don't have. So this one is a very unique one to add. All right, next package is, uh, I can already tell it's a Marvel Legends Claw. It's really cool, I don't have him, so that is cool. He looks to be in great shape. It says uh, Marvel Legends 2012 Claw and Random Robot. <laughs> I love that Random Robot too, he looks neat. It looks like he may have lit up at one time. It looks, I don't know if that's like a little bulb. Yeah, you can tell he takes batteries in the back. But uh, he looks cool. If anybody knows what this robot is from, uh, please comment below and let me know. I'm curious. He looks neat. Claw is great. He's in good shape. It looks like he wasn't even played with. For as thin as he is, he just stands so well. Quite impressive. Thank you so much. <clears throat> this is like the red team. They're the only ones that had red so far. Pulling everything out. All right, so let's keep going. Look at this big old guy. He looks like a big goblin. He has like some kind of cool knife or sharp object as a weapon. Man, he looks like almost like Lord of the Rings, kind of. But I don't remember that they made this. No, no, you know what? It's probably going to be like a spawn figure. I bet you anything it's like a spawn figure or something. But he looks like a orc or a goblin from the lord of the rings let's see here it looks like he has an action there's like a handle or a button let's see let me try to push it in yeah look at that isn't that cool he has an action he like starts slicing away with that knife man he looks great he has a he doesn't have articulation it looks like in the legs but in the arms he does it kind of feels like typical mcfarland or as harry likes me to say it mcfairlane <laughs> And he's tall. This guy's big. He's like seven, up around seven, seven and a half, I'm sure. <clears throat> really cool looking. I, I want to like do a kind of a one shelf that's just all like monster and creature looking guys. Like, because I have a lot of figures that I don't even know who they are. And they're just really cool looking. They need a place to go together. So that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. All right. This right here, since I opened the box, I'm secretly, not going to lie, legit been excited to open this up. 
This is a line that I've been wanting to collect, but I've only been able to find one figure. And this is the Diamond Select uh, Ghostbusters figures. And he's given all of them to me and the, the Build-A-Figure, which is actually the glow-in-the-dark sign, Ghostbuster sign. And it, he's got it all complete here. All the Proton Packs, all the figures. They look to be in immaculate condition. And then the sign has the stand. Oh, wow, it's really impressive. Uh, I really appreciate this, man. I'm so shocked you know, that you sent it. It's so nice. But I really appreciate it, and I will cherish it, I promise you. We got Ray. We got Winston Zedmore. He, all of them are here. Egon. And then Peter last. Look how good they look. This Diamond Select, they really threw themselves for, like, movie quality figures. And with their Proton Packs, this is incredible. This, I think all I had was Ray before. So this is really nice. He, sending all four with the sign definitely cool i want to kind of do a ghostbusters shelf where it's got old and new because i have like i have their play set the 80s uh fire fire station play set i've got ecto-1 i've got ecto-2 i've got slimer on card i've got the original stay puff i've got all the original uh, real ghostbusters i've got most of the figures i need a couple of the real monster ones from the later 80s but uh this right here look at that that's gonna look good to display that you can't help but say that's gorgeous now we got another little bag of miscellaneous and it's just called random <laughs> and these are all little figurines like around two inch figure figurines which i think are great stuff that i like a lot of people probably don't even want anything to do with these but man i cherish them they're so cool so let's just go through them real quick this little bobblehead it says meat i have no idea what this is from but he looks awesome going through there we got just a lot like this one looks like a little alien spider if you happen to know what it is or if it's from like a little game or something let me know a little two-headed dinosaur really cool looking no articulation on him these little uh there's a bunch of little like robot pieces and in my opinion and i'm probably wrong like this guy there's like four different colors of the same of this guy and four different colors of the smaller robot and it makes me think they may have came from a board game or something I may be wrong. Another little dinosaur. Really cool looking. <clears throat> Another one. See, this one has the backpack and he looks exactly like the others. And there's like the same colors for each. There's blue, green, red, and yellow. And then the other one's blue, green, red, and yellow. Sort of like a, what a board game would have. There's a green one for the smaller robot. Now I'm curious what game this is. <laughs> I bet it's fun. It's got cool little figurines. <clears throat> this head looks cool with a little head kind of spooky looking translucent Here's another yellow one see the same as the others, but it's yellow <clears throat> Here's a little Godzilla guy or something. He's really cool looking Another little robot, but he's yellow so it looks like these all came in the same for whatever it is. This guy looks cool Is this uh, I don't know. I don't think that's a battle beast I'm not sure what he is if you know what he is please comment and down below let me know he's kind of looks familiar but i'm just kind of can't place him a little like bat guy that looks neat <clears throat> this guy looks crazy he's like a gooey slimy looking tree person or something with a top hat he looks neat i like the detail on him they really sculpted him nice what a unique looking little little guy all right, another little, some kind of beast or warrior. Really cool looking. <clears throat> now here's the dark blue robot like the others, but this one's blue. So, and uh, I'll look at this sticker. Horror Junkie, isn't that cool? And it's a VHS, and the VHS has the spindles look like eyes and has a big old slobbery mouth. That's a cool sticker. I'm going to find a place to put that. And then, of course, he sent me a letter, and it's very moving, but I really appreciate it. I mean, you, you know, you don't have to do this kind of stuff, you know, but I really, I'm not, at the same time, I really appreciate it. I will cherish it forever. I'm going to show it off. I'm going to put it up in my collection. It's going to be with me for the rest of my life, and I will be able to actually show this uh, mixed into my collection as soon as I can. But anyway, guys, this is Kevin, the Tattoo Toy Hunter. Again, shout out to uh, Pat. Thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate it. Anyway, everyone have a wonderful Halloween.
And uh, also shout out to Uber and the wifey. Thank you so much for doing the skit with me. It was a lot of fun. We need to do more stuff like that for the toy community. I think everybody enjoys that stuff. So let's go over this uh, haul real quick. The magazines, the comics, the toys, the figures, the collectibles. Such nice stuff. These are true treasures. <clears throat> well, anyway, pew, 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 pew. Y'all take care.